If you're looking for a suburb just outside of Sacramento, you're going to want to watch today's video because we are going to talk about Granite Bay, California, which is a gem of a suburb. Let's get into it. Hi, I'm Jacqueline with the Gage Group right here in Sacramento. And if this is the first time on my channel, welcome. I'm a local realtor, and this is where we dive deep into all the neighborhoods in Sacramento and the greater areas so you can find the spot that works for you. Now, if you are thinking about making a move to Sacramento, reach out. My team and I help people all the time relocate. And you want to come up with a game plan, making this smooth transition. There's a lot to know when you're moving, even if it's like a year out, don't hesitate, reach out, give us a call. We'd love to help you. And if you're enjoying this video or any others, don't forget like and subscribe so I can get these videos out there. All right, let's get into the video. All right, so let's talk about the location of Granite Bay. So it's in Placer County and it's just east of Roseville and west of Folsom Lake. And it's about 25 miles from Sacramento. So for a commute, that's about 30 to 40 minutes, depending on traffic. So let's talk about the vibe of Granite Bay. I always tell my clients, you're not just buying a house, you're buying a lifestyle. So when you drive around in Granite Bay or whatever area, you have to vibe with it. Um, I would describe Granite Bay as a you know, small community, upscale, really nice homes. They do have various price points, which we'll get into. Um, a lot of the homes are in gated communities, but outside the subdivisions, it does have a rural kind of country-like feel because there's a lot of rolling hills and they're so close uh, to the foothills. So Granite Bay is a suburb of Sacramento, and the last census was in 2020, and it was just over 21,000 people. So not too big. Um, definitely, you know, a nice little suburb. Something to note, Niche, an online website, which kind of dives deep into various neighborhoods, rated Granite Bay as number three in best places to raise a family in Placer County. If you're wondering what number one and two were, they were different neighborhoods in Roseville. So Granite Bay contains um, a lot of neighborhoods of various price points, like I had mentioned, but some prop popular neighborhoods include Los Lagos, Wexford, Wedgwood, Granite Bay Hills, and Tree Lake. So just a little trivia fact for you. Back in the day when Eddie Murphy was married to Nicole Murphy, they lived in Granite Bay in the community of Los Lagos. So that gives an indication of what an upscale community Los Lagos is. So let's talk about the things to do in Granite Bay. There are so many, but the biggest perk of living in Granite Bay is having Folsom Lake in your backyard. All the amenities that the lake offers, you can do all those water sports, hike, just enjoy the lake. One great spot, um, to have access in Granite Bay is Beals Point. You'll want to check out. It has a sandy beach, really family friendly. They have a buoyed swim area, a lifeguard. You can rent equipment at um, the snack bar at Beals Point. So, you know, you can have a whole day out there. They have a picnic area, barbecue, um, just a great spot to have in your backyard if you live in Granite Bay. Another great thing to take advantage of in Granite Bay is the parks. There are so many of them. One of them is Granite Bay Community Park, which has a lot of amenities. You have a soccer field, baseball field, playground, picnic area, um, trails for the bikes. Other parks in Granite Bay also include Miners Ravine Natural Reserve, as well as Tree Lake Park and Douglas Ranch Park. You can also do a lot of hikes in Granite Bay with the rolling hills. One of them is gonna be in Miner's Ravine. They have a, a nice, like I think three mile trail that's not too hard. So Sacramento in general has a ton of farmer's markets, but Granite Bay has one of their own. It's every Sunday from 8.30 to 12.30 and it's in the Quarry Pond Center. So you should definitely take advantage of all the fresh produce, um, a great thing to add to your household. All right, for you golfers, you're in luck. Granite Bay is surrounded by a lot of golf courses. One of them in Granite Bay is going to be the Granite Bay Golf Club. It is an 18-hole championship golf course, um, has a ton of amenities. It is a private membership, 
but you have you know a workout facility, a few eateries, driving range, um, and also junior golf. Some other nearby golf courses are going to be the Indian Creek Country Club, Sierra View Country Club, and Whitney Oaks Golf Club. As far as where to shop in Granite Bay, I mean, there's so many amenities close by. You can just get in your car. It's 10 minutes away. But as far as the mall, you're really, since you're so close in proximity to Roseville, you're going to be taking advantage of the Galleria and the Fountains Mall there, which is not far at all. All right, for you foodies out there, I have to give my one restaurant recommendation that you want to check out. It's going to be Hawk's Restaurant in Granite Bay. And it's definitely, you know, an upscale restaurant. So it might be perfect for a special occasion or a date night, but they have modern cuisine, really nice atmosphere, really great menu. All right, so let's talk about schools. Now, disclaimer, as a realtor in California, we really can't get into ratings of schools. I do have to refer to greatschools.org and tell you to check that out. But I can tell you, according to greatschools.org, uh, Granite Bay has a lot of lovely schools, top ranking, and the Eureka School District is going to be the district that serves the Granite Bay area. Um, some schools to mention are going to be the uh, Oak Hills Elementary, Granite Bay High School, Green Hills Elementary, Wilma Cavett High School, as well as Ridgeview Elementary. So check those out. Unfortunately, we can't get into it too deep with that. All right, guys, just a couple important facts about Granite Bay. Right now, the median household salary in Granite Bay is around 119000 so that gives you an indication of the property value. It's going to be higher. In fact, the median sales price in Granite Bay is $980,000. And that has actually come down a bit because of the interest rates rising. But not to say you can't buy a home. You can buy a home as low as the 500s. Um, when I just looked at the recent sales, we have as low as 500s all the way up to the millions. I mean, Granite Bay, you could have a home that's 10 million. So there's quite a gamut, um, but your median is gonna be around 980. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned because I wanna show you what you can get for that median. And then I'm gonna show you what a even fancier home is. So let's check that out. All right, so this property I'm gonna show you is the median price point. It is a five to six bedroom home with three baths and it's 3730 square feet. Um, so a large home built in the 2000s. So let's check it out. This one has kind of the Tuscan style, which was really, I'm sure you know, popular in the early 2000s. And you have the really high ceilings. formal dining area. Let me get to the meat and potatoes picture so you can see. Okay, so we have a living area. Kitchen, and this isn't, you know, updated to today's contemporary finishes, but you do get a lot of house. And let's see the backyard. So master, all right, here's some backyard pictures. and the three-car garage, which a lot of homes in Granite Bay have a three-car garage for you, for you car lovers. All right, so this home is in Los Lagos. Remember I said Eddie Murphy used to live here. This is the four slash five bedrooms, five bathrooms. Oh, and it has a whopping 4,800 square feet. So it's a huge property, almost an acre lot. So let's check this out. And this is for basically double the price of the median income or the median home. So in all these homes, a lot of really high ceilings, 
unlike, you know, closer to Sacramento, the homes are a lot older, so you don't have that ceiling height, which is really nice. It's like an updated kitchen. Not sure about those light fixtures, but those could easily be changed. Formal dining, looks like a pantry. So we have our master, spacious master. Looks like it overlooks the backyard, which is nice. Nice custom closet. Now I'm gonna um, take you to the backyard. Those are the money shots. All right, here we go. Fountain. You gotta figure out, is this your vibe? Nice backyard, definitely enjoy those hot Sacramento summers. Full on entertaining here. Outdoor kitchen. Oh, I love this gra grassy area. That's perfect. And I like this shot because you can see the placement of everything. So 2 million buys you a really big house, a lot more than the Bay Area. Okay, if you are still watching, you have to do me a favor. Don't forget, like and subscribe right down below so my channel can keep growing. And I hope you found this video informative on Granite Bay. You know, it might be a spot um, that piques your interest. And if you have any questions, we would love to help out. If you're thinking about making a move, don't hesitate. Even if it's a year in advance, you want to get a game plan together to make it as smooth as possible. Make sure you're looking in the right spots that suit your lifestyle. And we would love to help you. And Granite Bay is an awesome spot. Um, definitely a spot you should consider if you're thinking about the Placer County because you're so close to the beautiful Folsom Lake. All right, I'll see you on another video.